So let's go ahead and get started. So you can find either a comfortable seat sitting down or just kind of to do it a little bit different. And I forgot to tell you, uh, make sure you mute your mic too, as you need to uh, speak to me, um, just so that there's no background noise. If you want to start just for something different, we usually start, um, you know, sitting down cross-legged. But why not try starting on your knees, as long as that feels uh, somewhat comfortable for you. Um, just start out rolling your shoulders up and back a few times. And then just come to sitting up nice and tall if you want, rolling your head and neck around once or twice too. Just kind of working out any kinks you're feeling, just kind of getting in tune with your body this morning, checking in with yourself. Today's class is Binyan and Core. The first part of the class will be mostly a, a warm-up and a vinyasa, so more movement-based. Um, and then we'll do some specific core exercises. We're going to do the abs today. And the second half of the class will be yin yoga, so really getting into that deep stretching where we hold the poses for a longer period of time. So I kind of think it's like a yin-yang practice, a little bit the best of both worlds. So go ahead and close your eyes. And we'll start with a little bit of mindfulness. Just kind of becoming in tune with your breath. Starting to lengthen your breath. Coming into more of yoga style breath. Being in and out through your nose. Making your inhales and your exhales about the same length. Using this breath out the class, so just kind of reminding yourself to come back to it. You stay focused, kind of really stay present. And this breath really just has a calming effect, so it calms your mind and it can help calm your body. Is exactly what we want to try to do, achieve in our yoga class and even. Sometimes outside of class. And just starting to tune in to your inner world. Anything that's weighing on your mind right now, just letting it go for the next hour or so and really starting to be present. Take a moment to just kind of remind yourself of being positive, that you're grateful for, and setting an intention for class. From here, you can slowly open up your eyes, and we're going to do a few rounds of a seated cow pose. So go ahead on your inhale, reach your arms out nice and long. Bring your chest forward. Put your tailbone up, opening up. Your exhale, rounding. So rounding your back, rounding your shoulders. Into your chest. We'll do that a few more times. The seated cat cow. Now to open up, just moving with your own breath. Exhale, round. We'll do one more time. So inhale, open up. And exhale, you're just going to come to neutral and you're going to bring your um, forearms together. So we're coming into eagle arms, but we're going to start with just the first modification. Forearms together, elbows in line with your shoulders. All right, so you can stay here. 
Or if you want to come to the full eagle, eagle arms, give yourself a hug. It doesn't matter which arms on top, which is on the bottom. And then crossing above the elbows, you're going to kind of twist those arms together to bring them up into full arms. So you want from here your toes to kind of that kind of be in line with the shoulders. First variation of a back bend. So you're going to lift those forearms up, start to look up, maybe come back a little bit. From here, slowly coming down through to the center, rounding your back, bringing your elbows in towards your chest. And then we'll come back up through to the center. For which arm is on the bottom, because we're going to switch next time. So untwist, open up, and then we're going to switch. So opposite arm comes on the bottom. Give yourself a big hug to start. Squeeze the shoulders together in the front. Making your way into eagle arms on the other side, or just bringing the forearms together. From here, lifting the elbows up so they're in line with the shoulders. An option to just stay here with a straight back, or you can come to a little bit of a back bend. So starting to the arms up a little bit more. Up. And slowly coming back through to the center and bringing the elbows in towards the chest, rounding the back. Coming back up to the center, we're going to untwist our arms, open up, and interlace your hands behind your back. Bring your shoulders down and back. Here, we're going to come forward, bring the top of our head, allowing our arms to come up, bringing our hips and our shoulders to release up and over. Good. and then we'll make our way back down. All right, from here, we're going to set up along the long side of your mat. So take your right leg out. Your hands are going to be in front of you. And here we're going to come up. We're going to come to gate pose. Even if you're kind of on the side of your mat like this, that's fine. Either way is fine. So whatever leg is out long, keep that arm by that side. You're going to reach the opposite arm up, and we're going to do an oblique stretch. Stretching up and over towards that leg that's out long, the side of your body. Your deep breath here, reach. One more deep breath. All right, from here, we're going to bring our hand down. We're going to do some plank variations. Now make sure your hands are near your foot. The whole pad of that foot is down. And why? First, we're just going to come up to kind of this modified plank. From here, to go further, you're going to reach that arm forward. So the bicep is towards the ear. You're extending it out long. Take that foot that's that long, lift it up. So that. Reaching the long, a long line between the fingertip through that foot. And from here, we're going to add on some exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, reach and lengthen. We're going to do that four more times. Inhale, crunch, and reach and extend. Four, two, and last one. So or either just holding this modified side plank with the leg up, or you can come to full side plank. With a staggered stance, you take that bottom leg um, behind the top. You can try stacking the feet. Stay here a few more breaths. Five, four, three, and good. You can bring that knee down. And we're just going to walk over, set up for the other side. So same thing on the other side. So opposite leg comes out long, knee. Find that whole path that foot's down. We're going to make our way up. We're going to do that oblique stretch, gate pose first. So arm comes down by the leg that's out long. Inhale, reach up through that opposite arm. 
and over. Looking over to the side of that leg, that's that long. Big stretch, staying here, your deep breath. From here, come down to that modified side plank to start with. So first setting up, foot in line, step through the hip. Option to stay here. To go further, you're going to reach that arm forward, bicep towards the ear, extending and stretching. Next level, reach that foot up, that foot comes out long, holding it out there. Good. And then from here, we're going to add those crunches, five or six crunches. So exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, reach and lengthen. Down, crunch. Now reach. Good. Crunch. We'll do two more. Moving with your breath. All right, last one. Just holding it here, or you come to that full side plank. Sending both the legs out long, either staggered. I like staggered a little bit more to help with balance, but you could also try stacking the feet as well for an extra challenge. Hold it here. Five. One. Good. Go ahead and come on to your, we'll come into a child's pose from here. Take a quick drink of water if you need a drink of water. Sit back towards our heels, reach our arms forward, bring your forehead down to stay in here for a few breaths. From here, we're going to make our way into downward facing dog. So spreading out the fingertips is the first step, so you're protecting the wrist. Toes, your hips up and back. All right, take in some time to just stretch it out. Dog, maybe pedaling out your feet. Bending the knees. We're coming up onto the toes, taking up your body, flexing your head and neck, your chins towards your chest. And from here, go ahead and walk your feet up to your hands. We're just coming to a ragdoll forward fold. So keeping that nice bend in your knees and grab the elbows. Shake your head yes and no, just to make sure it's really relaxed. Up through the hips. They sway side to side. Cutting out the toes, grounding through your feet. To send your weight too much back on the heels, bring your weight forward a little bit. Here we'll inhale to come to a half lift, drawing the shoulder blades back in a way. The neck is reaching forward. Exhale, let's fold forward deeper. Bring the, let's take our hands behind our calves to go a little bit deeper in this forward fold. So straightening the legs a little bit more, or just micro bend in the knee. It moves forward, stomach towards the upper thighs. And we'll inhale, half lift again. Maybe the hands come, hands draw the shoulders back, flat back. Full forward, just briefly going a little bit deeper. Next inhale, let's come all the way up. Lengthen through your spine, reaching up nice and tall. Tell hands to heart center. Let's sit back in chair pose. Bring your shoulders down and back. Tailbone a little bit. Make sure you're not sticking your butt out. And we're gonna reach our Arm forward, draw our shoulders back, reach our arms up. So your biceps are kind of hovering towards your ears. Let's stay in here a few breaths. 
One more deep breath. And from here, we're going to come all the way up to standing. Go through a few rounds of sun salutation C, adding on some variations. So coming towards the front of your mat, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands from your head, fold forward. Take a big step back with your left foot. Bring that left knee down and back. Bring your sat up, front knees over your ankle, long space between your back knee. Ready here, we'll make our way up. We're going to come to lunge. So reaching those arms up, shoulders back. Option here is I like to sink a little bit more in towards that front knee, but option is to kind of keep your back straight, staying lifted up. Feels better for your back. From here, we're going to open up to cactus arms. So squeezing the shoulders together in the back, picking up the chest. Good. From here, we'll bring both hands down in front of that front foot. Lift the back knee up. Step back to a plank. Up those knees down, lower down, chara, the elbows, hug the ribs, all the way to your stomach, coming to cobra pose, drawing the shoulders down and back, drawing the shoulders away, lifting up your head and chest. Exhale, come back down, making your way into downward facing dog. Staying here, about five deep breaths. About three to five breaths. Just kind of resetting in this downward facing dog. Then from here, we're going to take our left knee in towards our chest, bring that left through. Our hands. Doesn't make it all the way through. Grab the ankle, bring it up. Back knee down and back. We're making our way back into that low lunge again. So lengthening through your spine. And raise the arms up. Stay here a few breaths. And then you can open up the arms. Cactus arms. Raising the shoulders together in the back. Opening up your chest. And then you can bring our hands to bring that front foot to the back knee up. This time we're going to take a big step. We're coming to a forward fold. But in the next inhale, reach those arms up, lengthen through your side. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to that again, this time starting with the opposite leg first. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Take a big step back with your right foot. And that right knee down and back. Knees over your ankle when you're ready, taking your way up. This time we're going to interlace our hands behind your back. Draw your shoulders down and back here. Breaths. Maybe coming to a little bit of a back bend. Stop looking up. And you can release your arms. We're going to bring your hands to either side of the foot. Back knee up. We're going to go through a vinyasa. Step your front foot back. So your choice. You can drop down to your knees or just do a reverse plank from here. Either coming to a cobra or an up dog. The shoulders back, looking up. Try to make your way into downward facing dog. Three to five breaths, or come to a child's pose instead of down dog. Just um, need a child's pose for a few breaths. It's kind of your practice, what your body needs right now. Good thing it's time to recenter yourself. Here, bring your right knee high to your chest, right foot through between your hands, and the left knee down and back. We're just doing the same thing on the other side. Taking your way up, place your hands behind your back, draw the shoulders down and back. So this um, posture, just drawing the shoulders down and back, is really good for reversing all that forward hunching we tend to do over palms, computers, I mean, helps 
reverse that, realign everything. You can go ahead and release your hands. Your hands to either side of that foot. Lift the back knee up, and we're going to step forward again, coming to a forward fold. And your next inhale, all the way up, lengthen through your spine. Hands to the heart center. One more round, just adding on variations. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull forward. Take step back with your left foot. Left knee down and back. Raise over your ankle. Up, we're going to add the prayer twist variation. So I'm going to turn a little bit just so you can see. So you're going to bring your hands to your heart center. Knee forward, and it's going to be opposite elbow to the outside of the knee. Prayer twist. Get your fingertips to face you and lift anything to lift your chest up and around. Twist up and over that thigh the best you can. Over your right shoulder. And from here, you can bring your hands to the side of your. And we're going to walk our hands back to a half pose, which is a nice hamstring stretch. So you're working towards straightening that front leg a little bit in that front knee if you're tight. Let's stay high over your knees and then bring your hips a little. So send that right hip back, left hip forward. Fold forward. So bring your forehead towards. Your front knee, feeling that nice stretch in the back of your hamstrings, and hamstring. Good. And then we're going to make our way forward. We're going to come into downward facing dog. So lift that back knee up. We're going to go through a vinyasa. Front foot back to a plank. Your way through a vinyasa, either on your knees, lowering all the way down to an up dog or cobra. Shoulders back, lean up, and then exhale, coming into downward facing dog or even a child's pose if you prefer. Staying there for Three to five breaths. Reset. Then from here, bring that left knee in towards your chest, left foot through between your hands. Right knee down and back. Making our way up. Low lunge again. Reach the arms up. Bring your hands to your heart center, prayer twist on the other side, the elbow to the outside, opposite knee as you come forward. Here's trying to face towards you if possible, lifting that torso up and over the thigh to twist, looking over your left shoulder this time. And then you can bring your hands down, walk your hands back, straightening your front leg, coming into half pose. The hips left, hip back, right hip forward, and your forehead down towards that knee. Noticing maybe how this side feels compared to the other side. And then you can walk your hands forward again. 
Try to go through a vinyasa. Lift your back knee up, up your front foot back to a plank. Lowering down through Chaturanga, elbows hug your ribs, up dog or cobra pose. Coming into downward facing dog. We're going to add on, so three legged down dog. Reach your right leg up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Squaring the hips, so flex that foot. Here we're going to do a little bit of core work. We're going to come forward on the left toe, bring your right knee to your nose. We're going to do that four more times. Inhale, reach back, three-legged down dog. Exhale, come forward, the nose rounding the back. Inhale, and lengthen. Now come forward on the toe, round the back, bring that knee to your nose. Reach. Make this our last one and bring that the way through between your hands. And the back heel down. We're going to set up for warrior one. Pause here. Make sure the front heel is about in the middle of the back foot. Stay square to the front. <laughs> Reach your arms up. Draw the shoulders back. Think. And hip. You can take your hands to your hips. Hip back. Left hip forward. Thus. Then you can raise your arms back up. Nice bend in that front knee. So knee over the ankle. Passing through the pinky edge side of that back foot to ground that whole back foot. Up. Here, reverse warrior one. So left hand comes down the left leg. Reach that right arm up and back, maybe a tiny bit more. Good. And then from here, you can bring both arms behind your back. We're going to interlace our hands behind that back. The shoulders down and back. And we're going to make our way into humble warrior. We're going to come forward, the hands interlace behind your back. Your chest is going to come side, that front knee, left side of that front knee. You're going to, if possible, allow those arms to come up, the hands to come up off the lower back. Relax your head and neck, chins towards your chest. Allow it to just hang there. Breath. more deep breath here. Bring your hands to your lower back again. Release your hands. Take your hands to bring that front foot. Lift the back heel up. We're going through a vinyasa here. Back. Plank lowering down. Up dog with cobra. This is our last vinyasa sequence. Point into downward facing dog. Three-legged down dog. Left leg reaches up. So just stretch it out. Heel up towards the sky, still towards your upper thighs. Running out the fingers. Here, we're going to do that core work. So coming forward on the right toe, up knee to nose, rounding the back. Inhale, reach that leg back, lengthen, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. I'll reach about three more. Coming forward, this is how we learn to get that foot all the way through between our hands. On our last one, bring that foot all the way through, and we're going to set up for warrior one. And the back heel down. Make sure the front heel is about in the middle of that back foot. Find your balance. Make your way up. Those arms up. Or you can even just start out hands to hips. And left hip back, right hip forward. Nice bend in that front knee. Reach the arms up, draw the shoulders down and back. So the arms are kind of hovering towards the biceps, ears, biceps towards the ears. Passing through the whole pad of that back foot. Deep breath. A reverse warrior one. Right hand down the right leg. Left arm up, maybe back a little bit more. Good, and then we're going to come all the way up. We're going to interlace our hands behind our back. Keeping that nice bend in your front knee. We're still in warrior one. Draw your shoulders down and back. Play a humble warrior. So slowly coming forward so your chest is coming inside that front knee. You're having 
neck, allow your arms, if possible, your hands to lift up, releasing the shoulders, lifting up and over. Allowing your head to hang there, back to your breath. And then you can take your hands back to your lower back. Look through a vinyasa, hands frame either side of that front foot. Up your front foot back. Ramba. Up dog or cobra. Exhale. Or three dog. Two or three breaths here. Good. And then from here, we'll come on to our hands and knees. We're going to come to a seat, maybe take a drink of water. We're just going to kind of transition here. Just pause. I'm going to do um, a short little core segment focusing on the abs today. Whenever you're ready, come to lying down on your back. Tuck your knees in towards your chest to start out with. Maybe rock side to side a few times. And then you can bring your feet down. So feet have distance apart. Take your hands interlace them behind your head. We're just going to do easy crunches. So inhale, exhale, lift up. You're going to pause at the top. Inhale, come back down. We're doing five, just like this. Exhale, lift up, elbows stay out wide. Shoulders up high, palms at the top. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, come up. Feel that shake as you lift up and pause, hold it there. Getting to your inner abs. Inhale, back down, two more. Exhale, come up. Pause, a little higher. Down. One more. Not really one more, but it's one more like this. So next we're going to add on, same thing, five more, but we're bringing our knees over our hips, so knees to a tabletop, elbows out wide, inhale, exhale, lift up, head, neck, and chest. We'll come back down. So lift up, getting those shoulders up, holding it there. Let's see if you can feel that shake, that means you're getting the inner abs. I'll come up and hold. Hold back down. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one like this. All right. Here, just squeeze the knees to the chest. Pause for one or two breaths. We're adding on. So we'll start with knees over the chest. Place behind your back. This time we're going to lift up and twist. Now lift up, twist and hold at their pause. Back down through to the center. Inhale. Now lift up, twist other direction. Through to the center. Twist. Really reach those shoulders up, elbows down wide. Inhale, back down. Exhale. Only one more on each side. Good. Last one. All right. The knees into the chest. So we're going to do a round of bicycle. Actually, we're going to do a um, single leg stretch and then bicycle crunch. Starting out, knees on the tabletop. And your hands are going to be towards one knee. We're just going to start out. Slow the other legs out long. Shoulders up higher. It can be up here or down here. And we're going to switch. So we're going faster. Once we're going to go for about 30 seconds. You want to keep the chest. Shoulders up high. The toes pointed. Very good. The shoulders up high. Exhale, we're halfway there. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth for these ones. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, 
one. Good job. Just hug your knees in towards your chest. A set of crunches. Going to be kind of like we just did, but adding on the twist. So bicycle style crunches. That was the first one. Slow. And bring your hands behind your back. Your lace behind your head again. And then we'll start out. Twist opposite elbow to opposite knee. And then back through to the center. All right. From here, 30 seconds. So really lifting those shoulders up as you twist, pointing through the toes, engaging the legs. Nice and high, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Halfway there. Four, eight, seven, three, two, Lauren, just relax. You can take your feet out wide, drop your knees in towards each other. Just here for a few breaths. All right, and then when you're ready, we're gonna push our way all the way up to a seat. You take another drink of water. All right, and we're going to start with our yin yoga practice. So we're going to really slow it down from here. Nice deep stretch. So we're starting out. Our first um, yin yoga pose is going to be a wide-legged forward fold. So go ahead and take your feet out nice and wide. Just start out sitting up tall. I'm going to be timing this because we're holding the stretches a little bit longer. From here, you can start to come forward just a little bit at a time. Maybe your hands kind of come down by your knees. Start out with your chest lengthening, trying to hinge forward more from your hips, just to start out with. And let's see if you can go a little bit deeper. If you have tight hamstrings, it's okay to have a little bend in those knees there. I forgot to mention, but if you have a towel nearby, isn't the specific pose I thought to use it for, but you can use it to rest your um, arms on that kind of blanket or towel that you might have. Okay, so here, just try to find, come into your edge in this pose. Your edge for right now. Edge might be different after another minute or so of the pose. You might be able to go deeper. Take a moment right now, connect with your body. Oh, muscles to relax. Since we're holding it longer, we're not flexing, we're not engaging. And the muscles to relax so we can stretch on the muscles into the tissues of the bones and the joints and the ligaments. This is where you're feeling the stretch. I notice right here, this um, is mainly targeting inside our legs, probably be feeling it in your hamstrings as well. Maybe a little bit in your hips. If you hold it longer, you even feel it in your knees as it's um, strengthening your knees. And going forward, you might even feel it in your back. I'm going to try to allow those muscles to relax and just allow yourself to release and sink into the pose. Coming back to your breath. On deep inhales. Exhales through your nose. And now you can go a little bit further than you could ago. And then from here, we're just going to add a variation. So 
hands back just about halfway. We're going to walk our hands over towards our right. So framing our right leg, squaring our hips to the right, and then walking our hands forward, holding more over our right leg, our right knee. Allow yourself to just let go. And then slowly walk your hands back about halfway. Walk our hands back through to the center. Just moving nice and slow. Walk our hands over towards the other side. So framing the left leg. And then walking forward. Holding forward over the other knee. Coming back to your breath, like at the beginning of class. Maybe just noticing, being aware of thoughts as they pass through. Staying focused on any particular thought. And from here, slowly walking your hands back. Hands back through to the center, just sitting up nice and tall, pausing here with this uh, straight back. We're gonna bend our knees. Put your knees out wide about the width of your mat. We're gonna windshield wiper our knees side to side. So bring your hands back, both knees to one side, kind of releasing your spine, releasing your lower back. Dropping both knees to the other side a few times. Okay, so that was um minutes that we held that um wide legged forward fold. I feel a little bit like kind of tight right away, but that'll go away. Wait. From here, our counter stretch is going to be reverse tabletop. Then towards you, lift your hips up. Allow your head to drop back. Start to open up, keeping those hips up high. You can lower back down. So our next yoga pose is going to be puppy pose, or is sometimes called melted heart pose. So if you want, you can use your blanket or your towel as just a little extra padding for your knees. This will be on our knees. We'll be on in about 30 minutes or so. And we'll come to our hands and knees. Set up. So your hips and puppy pose stay high over your knees. Walk your hands forward, bring your forehead down. Taking a moment and lean in with your body again. See where you feel the stretch in your body. So this pose mostly targets our body, targeting our shoulders, our arms, our upper back. Allow those muscles to just release into the pose. Coming back to your breath. Using this time that we have, just holding these poses is a time of maybe a type of meditation or just mindfulness. This.
And about two or three more breaths here. You can slowly make your way out of the pose. So walking your hands back. We'll bring our knees together. Come to a child's pose variation. So the shoulders, bring the hands behind your back with your palms up. Bring your forehead down. Good. And then from here, we're going to set up for our next pose. It's going to be pigeon pose. A nice deep hip stretch. So if you want, you can take your blanket or your towel and kind of roll it up. It's kind of like a little extra padding for underneath your hip. If you know how tight hips or you have like a high space between your hip. Right? So you can start out. If you'd like to start out in pigeon pose in a down dog, you can start out in a down dog. Start out on your hands and knees, bringing the knee behind the wrist, walking that foot to the other side. Take the back knee back. Okay. So this is the point, if you notice, like there's a high you have space between your hips and the mat, you might want to use kind of like that as like extra padding so you can relax a little bit more into the pose. It's just a caution. And we'll start. Right pigeon, breath there too, so drawing your shoulders back, lengthen through your spine. Whenever you're ready, we'll make our way down, same pigeon. All right, so from here, option to stay on the forearms, or you can reach the arms forward, bring your forehead all the way down to the mat, or some other variation, bring your head on your hands, but just finding a comfortable position that you can stay here for a few minutes. Tuning in again, so. Touch, notice the feeling of your hips, maybe outside of your glutes. Notice if you're feeling a stretch anywhere else in your body. Notice if you're tensing up anywhere in the pose. Softening the muscles in your face. Allow yourself to just release and let go the best you can. Here, slowly lifting your head up. Take your time, so it would be nice and slow to walk your hands back. Have that extra towel there, we're just removing that towel. Take your way out of the pose, just stretching it out. So maybe reaching that leg back as you come out and do a few circles. And let's go to a downward facing dog just to stretch out both of the legs after that pause. And up for the other side. So, first, if you're using a towel, just bring the towel and blanket over to the other side. 
One or two more breaths here. Slowly walking your hands back, taking your time to make your way out of the To that leg back behind you, maybe doing some hip circles. Then you can come to a downward facing dog when you're ready to stretch out both the legs. Then we'll come on to our knees and we're going to finish on our backs. Take one more drink of water before you make your way on your back. <laughs> Coming on to your back, so take the knees in towards the chest. We're just going to come to a little twist. Arms out to the side, arms out long. Put both knees over towards one side. And the knees to just pass on the ground. Up, we're looking in the opposite direction as your knees. Twist is really good for the spine, but for your back and lower back. From here, you're going to keep your arms out long. Bring your knees back up through to the center in towards you. And then drop both knees over towards the other side. Settling back in on the other side. Head is either up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. You're looking in the opposite direction of your knees, getting more of a neck stretch.
then we'll come back through to the center. So for our last pose option, so first option is happy baby pose. Which you can outside your feet, this stretches more of our hips, our hips, and inside them our legs. Or if you want coming into plow pose, which is more of a spinal release. Bring your feet up behind your head, hips forward, interlacing hands on your back. Right in your happy baby pose, from side to side. And maybe playing with pressing your lower back into the mat or lifting it up, seeing which one feels better. Just keep on pressing down towards the mat. That stretch in the sides of the hips, a little bit the glutes and the inner thighs. Even then playing with your happy baby pose if you want to straighten one leg. And the other knee in or switch. So kind of just making this last pose your own, kind of whatever feels good before we come into our Shavasana. And whenever you're ready, slowly making your way out of the pose in a comfortable position for our final. The Shavasana will be here about to three minutes. So we're here about the same amount of time that we're in our other poses. Maybe allowing the feet to open up out naturally out to the side. Maybe your palms relax, kind of getting out any last minute fidgeting so that you can come to a place of stillness. Closing your eyes. Scanning your body. Starting with your toes. And allowing your toes and your feet to release. Relax, take a little bit deeper into the mat. Moving your way up, allowing the muscles in your calves, your legs to just release and relax. Down your lower back to relax. Your upper back. Your shoulders. Find the muscles of your face to soften. Clenching your jaw. Relaxing the muscles of your arms, your fingertips. Here, go ahead and take a nice deep inhale and in through your nose. Deep exhale up through your mouth. 
One more time. Inhale in through your nose. Complete. Exhale out through your mouth. And start to roll out your ankles. Roll out your wrists. Two times in each direction. And then you can bend your knees. Put your arms up overhead. If you're waking up in the morning. And then roll onto one side. Ready? Slowly making your way up to a seat. All right. And we'll finish by bringing our hands to our heart center. We'll take one more deep breath, reaching our arms up, pressing our palms together, and bringing our hands back down. Taking a moment to just feel a sense of fullness, gratitude, and just allowing the positive energy that we feel from our practice to be a benefit to ourselves and the people around us throughout and throughout the weekend. Namaste.